and we're back. We're back with our Bible story. So I hope you've been listening to your teacher. Your teacher has told you the stories of David. David was a great man in the Bible. He was a man after God's own heart. That's how it describes him in the Bible. Now David started his great journey after God's own heart as just a little boy. He was a child, a little bit older than you are right now. And he had a great job to do. One of the things that he did was he did whatever his father asked him to do. So this day, his father asked him to go and find his brothers and bring them some bread and see how they were doing. Now, his brothers were much older than David was. They were grown up and they were off far away fighting a battle. And David brought them some bread. But he found something very surprising happening when he got there. Let's see what it is. The enemies of God's people came out to fight. They sent their best fighter out first. His name was Goliath. He was over nine feet tall. He called to the army of Saul, Choose a man to come and fight me. If he wins, we will be your servants. But if I win, you will be our servants. The men in Saul's army were afraid. They knew Goliath was stronger than they were. No one wanted to fight him. Now David's brothers were in Saul's army, but David was at home keeping the sheep. Here he is. One day, David's father called him. Take this bread to your brothers, he said. So David got to go to his brothers. He got to see the army. I bet he was excited. He also got to see Goliath, and he saw how everyone was afraid of him. Why are you all afraid of Goliath? said David. The brothers said, well, he's a lot bigger than we are. He's a lot meaner than we are. He's a lot stronger than we are. But David said, well, he's not bigger than God is. He's not stronger than God is. Hmm. I will fight Goliath, David said. But Saul, the king, said, You are only a boy. How can you fight Goliath? God will help me, said David. So Saul gave David his armor and helmet and sword. David tried them on, but they were too heavy. David gave them back to Saul. I am not used to these, he said, and I don't need them. Instead, David chose five smooth stones, little rocks. See, he got them out of the river. David called to Goliath, you come with a sword and a spear, but I come to you in the name of God. This battle is the Lord's. Do you see this white thing right here in David's hand? Let me put it closer so you can see it. That's called a sling. And when David puts the rocks in there, he can swing it around and around and around and throw the rocks out of it. Let's see if that's what he does. The giant came closer to fight David, but David put a stone in his sling. He threw the stone at Goliath. The stone hit Goliath right in the middle of the forehead and Goliath 
fell down. David trusted God. God helped David win. All the people were glad. And that's the end of the story. The soldiers in the army, the Israelites, and even King Saul, they forgot that God is the strongest ever and that he can beat anything. But David remembered and he had faith. And it was David's faith that caused Goliath to fall down. I have a great song that goes with that story. So we're going to sing that song and then we'll do birthdays. And we'll pray and then we'll be all finished for the day. It goes like this. Only a boy named David, only a little sling. Only a boy named David, but he could dance and sing. Only a boy named David, only a little brook. Only a boy named David, five little stones he took. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And one little stone went up in the air, and Goliath came tumbling down. That's a fun song, isn't it? Let's sing it again. It starts out about David, that he was only a little boy, but that he had a sling, and he took five stones from the river, and God did great things through all of that. Only a boy named David, only a little sling. Only a boy named David, but he could dance and sing. Only a boy named David, only a little brook. Only a boy named David, five little stones he took. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And one little stone went up in the air. And Goliath came tumbling down. Ha! That was fun, wasn't it? All right, let me get the birthdays. Oh, and let me get the Bible and I'll show you the picture out of the Bible. Remember, all our chapel stories come from the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. And this story is found in the book of Samuel. Samuel's all about um, David and how he became king after he grew up, after he killed Goliath, and all of the things that he did. Here's Samuel. And here's the story. Here's the Goliath. Here's David on this side. Now you might think that David is so amazing, you could never be like that because you do things that aren't so great. But let me tell you something. Later on in the Bible, when David grows up, he does some things that aren't so great too. He does some things that do not make God happy. Do you think that makes God stop loving him? It doesn't. God tells him about the things that he did. David feels sorry for them. David asks for forgiveness. God still loves David. God still calls David a man after his own heart. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, to God in heaven we'll talk now. Dear God, thank you so much that you did an amazing th thing through just a little boy. You can work through all of us, no matter how old we are, no matter how strong we are, no matter if we're a boy or a girl, you can work through us and do amazing things. Help us to be open to your working, to listen and to do what you ask us to do. Help us to remember that you will always love us, no matter what. Amen. Almost forgot to say amen. Oh well. Birthdays. You know what? We have a lot because we didn't do it last week. We missed chapel last week. So we have 
Nandini's birthday in Ms. Barnes's class, Eliana's birthday in Ms. Samantha's class, Parker's birthday in Miss Crystal's class, Oliver's birthday in Miss Ruthie's class, and Matthew's birthday in Miss Booth's class. Are you ready to say ha sing happy birthday to all of them? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nandini, Eliana, Parker, Oliver, and Matthew. Happy birthday to you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless you. May the dear Lord bless Nandini, Eliana, Parker, Oliver, and Matthew. May the dear Lord bless you. And that's it for chapel. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.